ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 24th of July. James Spann here getting set to cruise into a midsummer weekend. And uh, you know it feels pretty good this morning. Now let's look out the... Window, if you will, the SkyCam network. First off, the view coming from Birmingham. That's looking north from the Daniel Building. The sky clear. And by golly, we've got temperatures in the low and mid-60s. And that's not that far from record levels for this time of the year. There's the uh, Gadsden SkyCam overlooking the lights of the city of Gadsden coming from Etowah County. And look at that. The new Alabama State Park Pier is open down at Gulf Shores. The grand opening was yesterday, and that thing is illuminated nicely. Got the lights all turned on, looking good. And that's the uh, view from the Phoenix All Suites. Of course, looking back off to the east in the direction of the uh, State Park Pier there. Well, there's our water vapor satellite imagery, and it's a familiar scene. We've got a, a trough over the east and a ridge over the west, and that means the hottest weather in the nation will be out west. Uh, give you a good example, Salt Lake City yesterday hit 102. And in Birmingham, the high was only 84, almost a 20-degree spread there. And, uh, yeah, check out those numbers this morning. Anniston, 62. Haleyville, 61. I mean, uh, the, the record low for Birmingham this morning is 62. We're within three of that right now. So awfully refreshing. And obviously no severe weather problems here today. The risk is for Des Moines, Milwaukee, Green Bay, and Chicago. And then tomorrow... A slight risk for places like Cincinnati and Cleveland, Ohio. And we note on day three, which is Sunday, there are low-end probabilities down into the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. No formal risk area, but that's with the surface boundary. And we'll have to maybe watch for a few strong storms around here Sunday afternoon. And the rain for the next five days. Valid through uh, Tuesday evening at 7. And this is suggesting rain of about uh, one to one and a half inches with the heavier totals up north, close to a stall boundary. And the tropics, big old wide view of the Atlantic Basin, little flare of convection uh, uh, east of the Bahamas. But again, the upper air winds are pretty harsh out there, and uh, that Gale Center is uh, located uh, around Cape Cod. Uh, that is not a tropical system, but it's awfully windy up there. You can see the well-defined low in the pressure field up there, down to 1,006 millibars, so awfully windy, and uh, you'd think it was a tropical storm, but again, that's more of a North Atlantic-type system, cold core. Uh, the GFS at 1 o'clock today, there's your western ridge, eastern trough, down below that, dry as a bone. We're close to 90 today, but you know, a lot of folks maybe will stay below 90. Keep in mind, we have gone eight days in a row under 90. That's something. Same deal tomorrow, a dry day to start the weekend. Low 90s are likely, but the humidity will stay low, so temperature's pretty comfortable. Sunday, the trough amplifies again, and we'll keep that surface boundary in our sight. It'll be uh, drifting down toward Memphis, and the uh, model not particularly aggressive with rain with that because the air is fairly dry, but Monday, as the moisture deepens, we figure the coverage of the showers and storms will increase. And, you know, next week could be relatively wet. There's Tuesday. Very moist air mass Wednesday. Another surface low fires up there near Paducah, Kentucky. Drags another surface boundary down this way. Thursday, the boundary is near Memphis, and that thing stalls out, and that could enhance the chance of rain Thursday and Friday of next week. So you can see why next week will be pretty wet with at least a chance of scattered showers and storms each day, and more than likely they will be numerous at times. And the end of the forecast, the 8th of August... And that looks uh, pretty standard there. A uh, little 594 ring over uh, uh, Colorado and Kansas around here. Light and variable winds aloft. Enough moisture for a few scattered showers and storms. You pretty much know the deal. Nothing out of the ordinary there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.